Meghan McCain signaled she would vote for former Vice President Joe Biden in November, saying that politics is personal for her. Speaking on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, McCain said that for her, the choice between Biden and President Trump in November came down to her experiences with both. Biden, she said, helped her cope with the loss of her father, the late Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona, who died in 2018 after fighting an aggressive form of brain cancer. Trump, on the other hand, made the grief she felt a living hell, she said. I keep telling everyone, I promise you, you will know who, I am, who I'm voting for, the co-host of ABC's The View said. But it really shouldn't take a rocket scientist to know there's one man who has made pain in my life a living hell, and another man who has literally spearheaded me through the grief process. This really shouldn't be rocket science for people. So I'm covering this because I always say that a lot of times with politics, it's a popularity contest. The person with the most name recognition wins, the most person who people like the most can pull out a victory. Um, and McCain, not the senator, his daughter is probably in the top three most useless political commentators on TV, in my opinion. Like, she's only on The View because they wanted to have a random conservative broad to basically go to war against all of the supposed liberal commentators. She's basically the Juan Williams of The View, except Juan actually is intelligent in some areas. So she she's announcing that she's going to vote for Biden, not because she agrees with him on policy, but because he was nice to me. What, what, a, what a lovely way to... And I'm not even saying it's some kind of way to suggest supporting Trump, but if you're a Republican and he's got positions that you agree with, because I can't think of any time she really condemned him for a policy disagreement. So she's just an empty suit. And she's voting for an empty suit, so it's birds of a feather, you know the rest of the saying.